setup was still kind of loud. My other setup was way louder though. Yo, what up YouTube? Welcome back to another video today. Um, before we get today's video started, I want to thank you guys for 300 subscribers. We hit the 300 mark between 200 and 300 in two and a half weeks. So I can't express to you guys how much I'm grateful for you guys. Thank you so much. Um, also, another announcement I wanted to make real quick before we get today's video started is when we hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm not sure what it is yet, but we're going to do something regarding cars. It's going to be a car part of some sort. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, and let's get today's video started. So last week I did not upload because it, the weather in California has been really rainy. And today's video, I was going to do an install, but I don't think that's going to happen because of... Yeah, it's pouring outside. So a couple days ago on my Instagram, I asked you guys to leave a video idea for me um, because it's raining, so I can't really do an install today or a POV or something like that. So I had a couple people ask me if I can do a how much does it cost me to own a 335i at my age and just in general, how much does it cost and uh, my insurance and all that stuff. So right now we're on our way to get gas, as you can see, always needing gas in this thing. And then I'm gonna explain to you how much this thing costs me to own the maintenance, insurance, payments, all that stuff, because I know everyone loves to talk about money. Personally, I don't like talking about money, but I want to get this video out of the way for you guys. And there's nothing else I can really film because, yeah, it's pouring outside. <laughs> also, if you guys live in a place where it rains a lot, like Oregon or Washington, don't use federal RSRRs year-round because these things do not grip. This is kind of sketchy right now, to be honest. I just did like a tiny acceleration, like not really much, and I almost got sideways. So yeah, federal RSRRs do not like the rain, hence their grip tire. So <laughs> just telling you guys, just telling you guys. All right, we made it down to the marina where I live and it stopped raining. So I'm gonna go show you the new wheels from last video. Also, thank you so much for all the support on that video. I got so much love from that video. So thank you guys so much for that. But let me go show you guys the new wheels. Sorry my car's filthy because it's obviously been raining, but new wheels looking good. Looking good. And the rears, they're filthy, but whatever. These federal RSRRs do not like the rain, man, seriously. You know how bad I just wanna slide it in this parking lot right now? But I wouldn't do that, because Har Harbor Patrol's everywhere. Let's hop back in the car, and I'm gonna tell you how much this thing costs me to All right, let me put you guys up there. Stick. <laughs> All right, I got my notes on my phone, and we're gonna go over this right now. So I bought this car last year for $20,000. Obviously, I didn't pay it off because I'm a huge believer in credit. Having good credit is like everything in this world in my opinion. It's definitely a plus when financing cars and I wanted to finance this car to build my credit so later I can buy a house and invest money better that way. Um, so I'm not gonna tell you what I put down but I paid $20,000 for this car and my payment is $377 a month. And that's with about a 4.1% interest rate. So I guess you could do the math, but I did four years, 4.1% interest rate, $377 a month I pay for this car a month. And then going to insurance. So this car is financed. So when you finance a car, you have to have full coverage on the car. And even if I bought this car outright, I would still do full coverage because it's a smart thing to do with a $500 deductible, um, which brings the insurance a little bit higher than doing a $1,000 deductible, but it just makes sense for me. Uh, my insurance is $189 a month. It was $231, but then it just recently went down because of my three years I've had my license. And then going to gas, I did the math. Um, I spend about $200 a month, give or take gas. Um, I haven't been driving a lot because it's been pouring rain. Around $200 a month is what I pay for gas. I get about 18 miles a gallon in the city. I only do I only do city driving mainly, except for when I go to LA, which is about two and a half hours south of here. So this is a big one. Um, people always ask me how much it is for repairs for this car, for BMW specifically. I always put away about $150 a month. We're not really put away, but I expect $150 a month. Um, thank God I am um, half sponsored. Um, through a company called Slow Auto Performance. My boys over there hooked me up with everything. So if you're in the San Luis Obispo, Central California region, hit up Slow Auto Performance. I'll put their Instagram in the link below. Um, but yeah, 
So I put away $150 a month, um, give or so, for maintenance. Luckily, this car hasn't had much to do, just the oil pan gasket, oil filter housing gasket, spark plugs, because I did run E85 for a little while. So yeah, 150 bucks a month is what you should put away for repair costs for this car. So this is kind of a touchy subject where people, I always ask people, what percentage do you spend on modifications? To like, not just me to other people um, and themselves, like what should I use of my check to do mods? To be honest, doing mods is kind of a stupid ass thing to do. I love it because obviously us car people, we love it. I usually spend about $200 a month in modifications. That will be one month not having any mods and the next month spending, you know, whatever it is, $1,000, $500 on this part, this part. So add those up, minus 12 months, I spend about $200 a month on mods. It's something I don't want to go like over. I don't want to go $500. I don't want to go $100. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to tell you guys how much to spend because you guys probably make more money than I do. Or you guys make less money than I do, so spend only $50. Bucks. Um, I don't. Sp I spend about 5% of my, of my net income monthly on mods, which is not bad. I don't want to go over that because I don't want to be an idiot financially. So, yes. Um, also, registration for this car. I am 19, or I'm 20 now, but I paid my registration when I was 19 years old. They take that in consideration. My 2013 BMW 335i Coupe M Sport package was $347, and I owe that in January. $347. I actually just got my bill. $347 is the registration on this car. Um, also, yes, you can buy an E92 for like seven grand in an N54 from 2007, same body as this. I'm talking about my car specifically. This is my car, how much I paid for it, this is what I pay for this car. So total amounts to $966, that is minus the mods and repairs. So what you need to do, which is the payment, your insurance, and gas, is $966 I pay for my car. Some of you guys are gonna be like, Ricky, that's crazy. Why do you pay that much money for your car? Well, I look at it this way. Um, how much you enjoy your car versus how much you dislike your car, how much money you can afford for your car, if that makes sense. So paying about $1,000 a month for my car is totally worth it for me. Um, I'm not financially stressed. I'm not financially anything. I, I've, I'm sitting good financially. I'm a waiter at a restaurant. I make okay money. Uh, and my rent's not very much. I live with my parents, but I still pay rent, but it's not you know, that much. Also take that in consideration, your living cost. But about $966 is what I pay monthly, and that's perfect for me. Um, some of you guys are gonna be like, wow, that's a lot of money for a 335. Well, for me, it's a perfect amount. I like it. I wanted the 2013. I wanted the last year they made this car, because it's the most refined engine there is, the M55. The little tweaks and stuff they made to it. So I wanted this year. Um, so yeah, that is what I pay monthly, $900. And sixty-six dollars as minus the modifications, minus the um, repair money. So again, car was twenty thousand dollars. My payment is three hundred and seventy-seven dollars. My insurance is one hundred and eighty-nine dollars. Gas, give or take, about two hundred bucks a month. Um, repair costs I put away just in case is about one hundred fifty. Um, some months I go zero, some months I go four hundred because you know, is where it is. It's a car, man. Um, mods, you know. That's kind of up to you, but to me, I use $200 a month in modifications. Um, and yeah, that makes $966, $966 about $1,000, and about $350 for registration. So I hope this cleared the air for you guys. I hate talking about money, but I want to make this video now before my channel grows even bigger than it is um, because I don't like talking about money. I, you know, everyone loves to hear about how much does he make, how much is this, how much is this, what do you do, what do you, what do, you do for your car, what do you do this. Um, so I wanted to make my video for my car specifically because I had a few people actually ask me what I pay for insurance, what I pay for this. Yeah. So that is what I paid for my car. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I know it was a short one because of the rain. I can't really do an outside video, but I do have a mod coming next week. Well, I have a mod now at my house, but I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I'll be installing that next week. Um, it's a must-do mod for this car. You have to do it. Like it's a must. So that'll be installing next week, and then I missed last week's video because of the holidays and I was with family. But yeah. So also, my best friend is gonna be coming home for uh, Christmas from the army, and I want him to drive my car and get a reaction video. So that should be super funny to make. Super fun to make. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I'll grab you guys. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I know it wasn't the most entertaining slash fun video but it was a information video on how much i paid for my car so just like that thank you guys for 300 subscribers 
But this video is over, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.